Hello and welcome back to the channel. So we are away for the weekend. We have come to a place that's not a million miles from where we live, is it? No, it's really local actually. Um, so a place called Gopsall Hall Farm, uh, which appears to be like a working farm that's got like a campsite to come. Well, they've got bell tents, they've got uh, camping pods. Like camping pods. Yeah, got a bit of everything really. A very, very cool looking place. There's a pub that opens on Saturday night here and that sometimes have burger or food vans basically. Yeah. Although we have just found out that the the one for tomorrow night, which we were planning on eating from, has, has let them down yeah. last so, minute. Uh, yeah, it could be interesting. Not sure what we're going to eat tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful evening this evening, isn't it? It's Sun lovely. shining. Uh, it's a lovely warm temperature. Yeah, and we just sat here. Um, but yeah, because we're not far from home, like we did with Ettis Field, we decided we'd bring the pizza from it, didn't we? Yeah. So and you can also have fires here as well. So we've brought the fire pit, yeah. just a little one, not yeah. the big one that we sometimes take. So yeah, we are going to uh, cook some pizza shortly, have some pizza for dinner, and then enjoy the beautiful, beautiful evening. Yeah, it's so nice. Mm. It's so nice when the weather turns nice and you can just sit out outside. I feel your like van. you could get burnt even now. Probably, yeah. It's getting lower. But isn't the sun's it? getting lower, but you could definitely get burnt. It's so nice though when you can sit outside your van till like. 10 o'clock because yeah. it's a lovely temperature you know there's nothing better than that is there yeah and we, and we haven't done that yet have we because no because i mean it's only just it's only what middle of may yeah when we were at whitby the weather wasn't great was it no the weather was well there was sporadics of all right but then it was interspersed with rain and wind so but that's that's camper yeah. vanning is or camping it's you take the rough with the smooth don't you, you make, do. the most of, mess to make the best of it yeah and just enjoy yourselves right let's cook some pizza Well, we just sat around the fire, having a lovely uh, chilled one. Apart from the uh, couple of showers we've just had. Which, yeah, we had a couple of rain showers, didn't we? Yeah, which wasn't expected, but they only lasted a few minutes, didn't they? Yeah. Which was good. Um, but yeah, we had some lovely pizza, didn't we? Yeah, you've been trying out a new one, haven't you? Well, we've done garlic, like a garlic bread before, haven't we? Like just, just use the dough and just mm. make it into a garlic bread. Yeah, but, but this one had got, um, well, it got uh, rosemary on it. You're getting cut like this. Yeah, for some reason. Now I've started filming. <laughs> um, yeah, this one had got um, rosemary on it as well, and then a balsamic drizzle afterwards. Yeah, and so, and some cheese. Yeah, and a bit of cheese, which we wouldn't normally put on, but oh, it tastes incredible, don't it? It's like yeah. the best cheesy garlic bread you've ever had. Um, and then we had a pepperoni pizza with some jalapenos on it, and we did like a mixed salami. Yeah. Which had some onions on as well, which was really good. We tried like a new pack of salami, didn't we? And it's really good. Yeah, it had different ones, didn't mm, it? Yeah. What was it? Was one like a chilli one, one like a... One had big bits of pepper in it. Yeah, I think it was just different styles of salami rather than... you got smoke in your eyes. Yeah, my eyes are burning <laughs> and smoke. Um, but yeah, it's really just really lovely sat out here, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely, nice night. It's not too cold. Fire's keeping us topped up nice and warm. 
yeah. Such a peaceful sight, isn't it? There's no road noise at all. No. It, well, d didn't, it's sort um, of in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? The drive, like the actual drive up to the farm, yeah. I think it was about a mile. Yeah, so you turn off the road and then like you say, They've it's, got a, a driveway, it's like a driveway that's about a mile. So you end up sort of properly in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah it's really quiet. <laughs> mm. But I think we're going to uh, let the fire die down, head in and maybe catch up on some YouTube before bed. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So if we don't catch up with you before we go to sleep, we will catch you in the morning. Morning. We have woken up a glorious morning in Leicestershire. The sun has been shining this morning, hasn't it? Yeah, it's really nice today. Um, there is some potential rain about, but hopefully it doesn't amount to a lot. Just some showers like we had yesterday, and it's just a nice warm day. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Really good. Yeah. I think we've got a lot planned today, really. Um, we might go for a wander with the dogs. I think it's going to be a quite a chilled break, this one, isn't it? Yeah, because we're, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere, really, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I mean, like, we could walk to somewhere, but it would be quite a long walk, and at the moment we're just keeping Dallas a little bit quiet on his walks, aren't we? Yeah, he's. Um, we think he might be struggling with his hips a little bit, so... Yeah, so we'll just... He's, uh, he's got some uh, He's got some painkillers from the vets, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Some um, anti-inflammatory types of stuff that he's got to have in his dinner. Yeah, so we're so. just... Uh, just well, looking after him, yeah, aren't we? We're not going to walk too far with him uh, this weekend. Have a bit of more chilled one where we're just sort of more around the camp. But actually, we were just saying, weren't we? This place is so lovely. It's quiet. Uh, he says as a car is about to drive past. <laughs> uh, but no, it is honestly. It's really quiet. It, it just honestly, we said once we parked up and uh, set up that this literally could be anywhere in the country, couldn't it? I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. It's not far from home. No, it's we not. could be anywhere. We, we could be four hours away from home. You just, you're just like in the middle of nowhere. It's quiet. I you can't hear any road noise at all. It's lovely. Well, it's I mean, really that's nice. the beauty of like having the van, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah. not always about driving miles mm, to get somewhere. You can. It's just about going somewhere and as as cliched as it is, making a memory of your weekend away or what happened yeah. or you know. Yeah, you don't have to go miles. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I really like this campsite so yeah, far. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? But I think now it is time to get some breakfast. So I think what we're going to do something on the Kadak, maybe bacon and black pudding. We got some, yeah, you got some black pudding, didn't you? Yeah, because we uh, we planned to have some uh, food from the food van that's not coming this afternoon now. We're now having to sort of rethink what we're doing with food because we don't. We really didn't wanna... really. We didn't really bring something for dinner, yes, did we? No, because obviously we planned to have the food van because we'd seen on a post that there was going to be one. So yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit. Um, yeah, experimental we, with food today, I think. Yeah, it might just be more of like a... Sandwiches or something. Sandwiches <laughs> yeah, and... I don't know. Maybe, we could definitely make, we could definitely get some kind of a toasty on the go, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon so, Oops. yeah. Right, let's make some breakfast. So we've just done bacon and black pudding cobs on the Kadak. I don't know, we need to maybe look at our Kadak pan, don't we? It's just not very, it's not, not really non-stick anymore, is it? No, there's something wrong with that. I don't know whether we've done something wrong with it. Got it too hot or something, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but it don't seem very non-stick no. anymore. And I even tried doing this trick where you just put some oil in it and like try and... Yeah, like you would with the cast iron pan, because yeah. it said that's a, something you should do with it, but... Yeah, and it's not yeah. worked, so I don't know. Right. Anyway, but yeah. let's have breakfast. Let's eat. So we've just come for a wander with the dogs. Um, there's like a track come footpath that goes all the way to a place called Congestion, which is a little village, isn't it? Yeah. And then from there, you can walk on to sort of Market Bosworth, Shackerstone, uh, and obviously from there, there's loads of pubs that you could explore in the local area. Fairly flat, I would say. 
we're not going to head there because obviously, as we said earlier on, we're trying to keep Dallas a little bit quieter at the moment. Um, yeah. But we just thought a small walk would do and done. Um, so we're just going to trot down here for a bit. Um, but in terms of pubs, as we said earlier, there's a pub on the site, isn't there? So that's open yep. today from 12, did you say? It's Saturday? Yeah, so it's open from 12. I don't know what time it's open till, but I think they've got some live music on from about three o'clock, I think the lady said. Oh, that's so awesome. That's um, really unusual, I think, on a campsite to have somewhere, like a campsite like this. I mean, if you're going to stay, you know, at like a quite commercialised one, like, you know, in a way resorts or somewhere like that. Yeah, or like seasons. when we used to do husky camp and we used to stay on, uh, on um, the Park Dean site. Yeah, like I don't think that's particularly surprising to find like entertainment like on a place like that but to find like live music on a small campsite like this i think yeah, that's wicked it's, it's i think nice, that's gonna be really interesting it? yeah it's good um i don't know i don't really know what the pub is like i think it's i think it might be in one of the barns yeah it seems like it yeah i think i saw a sign on on it uh, that says micro pub yeah um which will be uh be interesting so yeah i think we're gonna walk down here for a little bit and then head back then maybe go and see what the pub's like. Well, we've taken a wander down to the uh, pub on the side. Yeah, it's called the Cops All In. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a pop-up pub, isn't it? That they do about yeah. the barns. It's in amazing loads of seating. It obviously gets quite busy, I'm guessing. I've seen some footage on Facebook that looks pretty really? like it's going off in it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, what we're drinking, I've got a Hobgoblin Session IPA, which is very nice. What are you on? You're on a Moretti. I'm you? on a Moretti. It's not my favourite lager either. So I think next time I'll probably have the same as you. Yeah, I've nice. tried yours, haven't I? And mm. I like it. So. And the beauty about it being a session, you can sort of drink it all afternoon and you feel all right about it. <laughs> is that the plan yet? <laughs> Apparently <laughs> so. see what you've got in mind. <laughs> uh, no, probably not, because we're going to have to get something to eat at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to chill here for a bit. Uh, there's some music coming on shortly, ain't there? So yeah, but yeah, we will uh, speak to you in a bit. So we left the pub, headed back to the van for a couple of beers. It's just starting to get really busy. Um, not, not that's why we left. Just. I think we're going to go back in t this evening, um, so just sort of wanted to uh, keep our powder dry, so to speak, in how many beers we were drinking. And we just got talking to someone who comes to the site quite regularly, and they said that in the local sort of woods that you can see from the site, there's like a monument there. Um, so I just thought I might take a wander down to that and see if that was cool. But this site, this Gopsall Hall farm, um, that as, the, as the name suggests, there used to be a hall here that at some point was demolished. Um, and I think back in olden times, the, uh, this would have been a grand estate with like lodgings for the estate and all sorts. So I think you definitely need to be looking up online some of the history of this place. But um, I'm going to take a walk down this track again. And at some point you can take a right footpath which will go to these woods and hopefully we can see this monument. Right, I think this might be it. Looks like it's fenced off. Wow, it looks cool. Let's have a quick look. I'm not sure whether you can see that through there, but there's like stone arches or what used to be stone arches.
So it looks like that's an artist's impression of what the uh, hall, what the temple would have looked like. And then this is obviously sort of a site plan of what Gopsall Hall would have looked like. Really interesting. So yeah, if you are staying at the uh, Gopsall Hall farm, this is a very cool place to come and have a look, not too far from the site. So that is well worth a visit if you've come to uh, Gopsall Hall Farm to stay. I'm not too far from the farm. Um, loads of information about the farm and the temple on the sort of plaque bit that's there. And just a really cool structure. You can imagine this place would have looked completely different back in the, what, 17th century or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, time to head back to the site. Catch up with Lou and the dog, see what they're up to. Look at this, you've got one dog sat right at my feet and you got the other one doesn't want to be anywhere near you well i've had to film this because this is the first time that i've actually been able to use this little gadget that i bought it's the first time in ages i've come across a push button so i'm using my little gadget to keep the push button held in so i don't have to keep pressing the button so chuffed about that. So we just uh, had a really quiet, fairly quiet afternoon after I got back from uh, looking at the uh, Gospel Temple. And now we're just heading to the pub, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, we, we sort of heard the earlier live music, but only from the pitch, didn't we? Yeah, and it looked packed in here, didn't it? Yeah, which I'm sure it will be shortly, but um, yeah, so we're going to head to the pub now and take in this uh, live music and see what it's like. So we just got back from the pub, um, the Copsal Art Inn. Copsal Inn, isn't it? Copsal Inn. Inn. The Copsal Arms, but it's the Copsal Inn, isn't Inn. it? Yeah. Um, yeah, some friends actually met us uh, for a beer, which was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Came we just across. We just thought, because we were fairly close to home, we invited a couple of people and they came. So yeah. Alex and Kay, if you're watching, thanks for coming and seeing us. It was really fun. Absolutely. Not at all pissed. <laughs> Yeah, more beers flowed. Rich is steaming. More beers flowed than anticipated. Uh, but yeah, we've just come back to the van and a uh, bit of a fire. It's a sort of like sign off this trip, aren't we? Because that's last night tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this site. Yeah, the site's oh, really cool. I really like the site. And it looks like there's quite a bit of history to the site that can be looked up online. But definitely need to be doing that. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, um, that man was telling us about it, wasn't he? Mm. We saw. He was, yeah. Um, like there used to actually be a hall here. Of course, yeah. it's called Gopsal Hall Farm, but there actually used to be like a sort of stately home here with some grounds and stuff. So yeah, he was suggesting it was like where we are, sort of thing, like yeah. over here, like in the the grass section over there, and was where it was. It looked like that from the map that was down by the temple that I went to. It looked like that's where it was. There's a little map there, oh, okay. and like a sort of a top-down view map of it. Sort of a plan, if you know what I mean, at yeah. the site, and it looked like that where it was. And there was a huge lake over there in that sort of the valley there, which obviously no longer exists. But um, it's awesome. Yeah, so very, very cool. So I think we're gonna sit around the fire. And, uh, I've got some marshmallows. Yeah, toast some marshmallows. Since we've not had any proper dinner today, <laughs> oh, yeah. we can have some marshmallows. Yeah, spot on. What you need to do with. Uh marshmallows is low and slow so they don't catch fire. <laughs> what happened? Have the, you dropped it? The stick broke. <laughs> the stick broke? The stick that's in caught fire. <laughs> that's not what you want to do. You do not want to burn it like that so it catches fire. <laughs> Let's see. You've literally... You've like incinerated The other it. side is properly burned. So bad. Oh, 
I love these giant marshmallows. They're good, aren't they? They're so good, but you can't really like toast them. I never find you can toast them all the way through. You have to like toast the outside, yeah. eat that, eat a layer, and then mm. to, like toast it a bit more. Just That's exactly what you have to do. Because they're so huge. Well, we just finished the evening off around the fire, which was good fun. It's lovely when you can have a fire, isn't it? I just feel like it's proper camping when you have a fire. Yeah, and actually it's a little bit unusual nowadays, isn't it? There's not that many places yeah. we go that allow you to have a fire, is there? Not really. Like it, like any of the club sites never let you have a fire, do no. they? Um, so yeah, it's quite nice when you can. Mm. But yeah, we enjoyed it uh, in the pub as well, didn't we? Yeah, that really enjoyed nice. that quite a few beers in there and uh, we didn't film a lot of that did we because we were with our friends but no i really enjoyed that hobgoblin you know that session one that yeah, was nice that was it was and it was one of those beers where you can have a few of them and not feel too too bad yeah, yeah. which is good um but yeah i think that's going to call it for today i think tomorrow we might go somewhere and treat ourselves for breakfast mightn't we yeah obviously we missed out on whatever the food van might have been today and we've not really had loads of stuff to eat today because we didn't really bring lots of food we've like lived on like a sandwich <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> no we did have a fairly decent breakfast though to be fair yeah we, we did obviously yeah because um, we had um bacon some bacon mm. cobs but yeah i think we're going to go somewhere in the morning and treat ourselves for breakfast so we'll catch you for that the state of these dogs. You're right, Saves. You right, Dallas dog? You two stay here. We're going. Morning. We had a great night last night. Yeah, it was fantastic. The pub is awesome. I really enjoyed that. It was good. Good live music. Really cool vibe, wasn't it? Yeah. So good. Busy. It's just our cup of tea, that yeah, is, isn't it? Yeah, busy as well, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so we're all packed up now, aren't we? Yeah, we're packed up. Uh, managed to fit everything back in. We'll try and get some breakfast, aren't we? Yeah. Hopefully, if they can fit us in, we're going to try the black horse at Market Bosworth. Yeah. Um, looks on from online like they do a good breakfast so uh, hopefully and looks like they've got tables outside so hopefully we can uh, find a table outside and uh, get something to eat so we'll uh, make our way there and we'll catch you when we get there well that was uh, slightly unsuccessful <laughs> it was um, so we parked up and we parked in the pay and display car park that's just behind the Black Horse because uh, we thought we might want to come for a walk on Bosley Park, which is where we are now. Um, lovely outdoor seating area, wasn't there? Even a shaded bit so we could sit in the shade with the dogs. Yeah. And then you went in and they just said that it, that's it. We're no, not we're, not, we're not taking walk-ins for breakfast. Yeah, which is... So gutting. But yeah. we have a plan. There's a garden centre not far from here and there's butchers in the garden centre. So we're going to go there, get some nice sausages and stuff and make our own breakfast. Yeah, so we, we still get our breakfast. Um, <laughs> We've just got to put the effort in to cook it ourselves, that's the yeah, only problem. Yeah. Um, so, what do we think of Gopsall Hall Farm? Brilliant, I really loved it. Yeah, fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. I have to say, one of the nicest campsites probably we've stayed on, I would have said. Yeah, like, for a little independent place, you know, it's family run, it's on a working farm. It's just, it's brilliant. Like the. The effort they've put into getting that toilet block sorted, it's the best toilet block on a small site like that. That we've seen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah 100%. definitely. Um, it, I, it gave me vibes of like a hotel lobby toilet block. <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind of standard of... of uh, yeah, with the nice round sinks and the, like, the little glass soap dispensers yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah, what else? I guess there's lots of other things on site. Obviously, there's the pub, which is open on a Saturday night. Apparently, yeah. they are going to be adding um, sort of a bar that's open on a Friday night. Yeah, the same building as the toilet block is where reception is as well. And the, there's a bar in there, but they've not finished renovating it, I don't no. think. So that is going to be a bar that will be open, I think, when the pub's not. So they can still offer people drinks and stuff Definitely. when the pop-up pub's not open. And then they've also got what they've got. They've got them bell tents that you can stay in. They've also got them camping pods. Yeah, the pods. And then the, there's like some teepees as well, isn't there? Yes, there is, yeah. And then it's also a caravan storage space. So they've got so much stuff, haven't they? It's crazy. Yeah. And um, what was I going to say? And it, it has that feeling that it's literally in the middle of nowhere, you know, because it's a one mile drive from the road. Yeah. As in the driveway is a one mile drive. Yeah. You can't hear any road noise. It's, it's such a quiet site, loads of bird noise. And yeah, it's just amazing. I remembered what I was going to say. Well, I love the fact that they allow tents because not everywhere allows tents. No, that's true. And we've got friends with tents and it's, it's nice when you can camp together. Absolutely, yeah. So, and, and the fact that they allow fires as well, not everywhere yeah, allows fires. Really cool. I actually think that's becoming less and less that you can have fires on places. Yeah. Uh, which I guess for good reason maybe, but we do like to have a fire every now and again, don't we? Yeah, just makes it feel like proper camping. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, really enjoyed that trip. Um, I don't, I'd say definitely one we'll go to again. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 relatively local to us, so... Yeah, which means you can get there really quickly. We can get there quickly. Yeah, yeah. But you don't um, feel like you're like local. It's a bit like Etty's Field. It's the yeah, same as Etty's yeah. Field. We were saying though that the pub is so nice that you probably would think I'll go for a drive out to the pub just one evening. Yeah. Um, obviously, someone has to, has to be designated driver, but yeah. But it's, it's still it's a nice place to be. Absolutely. Well, that'll be it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed this one. Um, if you'd like to follow along with all our travels, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video if you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.